Hi students, this is Sivok Kumar, 12th Standard Business Mathematics and Statistics, Chapter Number 3, Continuation of Exercise 3.3. .3. Now Problem Number 9. Under perfect competition for a commodity, the demand and the supply laws are. This is the demand law, this one is the supply law because PD is the demand function, PS is the supply function. Find CS and PS. That's the consumer surplus and producer's surplus. Remember, when you are given the perfect competition, you have to consider equilibrium. At equilibrium, you know very well PD and PS are equal. That's a key word. Remember, perfect competition, if you are given, you have to consider PD and PS are equal. solution at equilibrium demand function and supply function or equal PD that is 8 by x plus 1 minus 2 PS that is equal to x plus 3 we have to find out the value of x so 8 minus 2 into x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. So, what is the LCM? x plus 1. Just I have crossed. 2 into x plus 1 whole divided by x plus 1. That is equal to x plus 3 divided by 2. 8 minus 2 into x, 2x. Minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 divided by x plus 1. That is equal to x plus 3 by 2. 8 minus 2 that is equal to 6 minus 2x divided by x plus 1 that is equal to x plus 3 by 2. So, what sign here? Equal. So, you have to cross multiply. That's all. 2 into 6 minus 2x that is equal to x plus 1 into x plus 3. Cross multiply. Now, usual multiplication 2, 6 or 12 minus 2 into minus 2x equals minus 4x. x into x, x squared. x into 3, 3x. 1 into x, x. 1 into 3, 3. That is equal to x squared. 3x plus x that is equal to 4x plus 3. So minus 4x comes left hand side, right hand side plus 4x. And 12 let it be in the left hand side. Sorry. Plus 12 comes right hand side, minus 12. Nothing in left hand side, right 0. Okay. Now, x squared, 4x plus 4x, 8x. 3 minus 12 is minus 9. So, x squared plus 8x minus 9. x squared plus 8x minus 9 equals 0. Now, we can factorize. Since it is a quadratic equation, what is the coefficient of x squared 1? 1 into minus 9 that is equal to minus 9. And the coefficient of x that is equal to 8. So, you have to find two numbers. Product of the two numbers equals minus 9. Sum of the same two numbers equals 8. The two numbers are 9 and minus 1. 9 minus 1 that is equal to 8. 9 into minus 1 that is equal to minus 9. Since it is a quadratic equation, we can find the values of x directly x equals x equals you write what is the coefficient of x squared 1 change the sign write minus 1 in the denominator so plus 1 becomes minus 1 you can get the values of x directly plus divide by minus minus 9 ones are 9 minus minus cancel 1 by 1 1 here you are given pd as well as ps so here x is our demand or supply so anyway x cannot be negative so it can be neglected so i have to consider the value of x as 1 only that means x not equals 1 now when x equals 1 we have to find out p so consider any one of them let it be number 1 number 2 I consider number 2 x plus 3 by 2 equation number 2 implies p equals p naught equals x plus 3 by 2 x value please 
1 plus 3 by 2. So, which implies P0 that is equal to 3 plus 1, 4 divided by 2, P0 that is equal to 2. Therefore, P0 x0 that is equal to P0 12 is 2, x0 12 is 1 that is equal to 2. Here, we are asked to find both consumer surplus and producer surplus. First, we can find consumer surplus. Consumer surplus. Cs that is equal to integral 0 to x0 f of x dx minus p0 x0. Here, f of x is the demand function. What is the demand function? 8 by x plus 1 minus 2. 8 divided by x plus 1 minus 2 equals integral 0 to x0. x0 value here it is 1 f of x that is 8 divided by x plus 1 minus 2 dx minus p0 x0 value is 2. Here you can apply the formula integral 1 divided by ax plus b into dx that is equal to log of modulus of ax plus b. Compare these two a is the coefficient of x what is the value of a a that is 1 b is the constant what is the constant 1 substitute here 1 by a will be coming 1 by a into log of modulus of a plus b substitute the values of a equals 1 and b equals 1 in that formula very simple first write 8 then 1 by a what is the value of a 1 so 1 by 1 is 1 you no need to add that 1 straight away you can write log modulus if you replace a by 1 1 into x x b also 1 so x plus 1 here it is same x plus 1 as it is minus minus 2 into integral dx is x you have to apply the limit 0 and 1 minus 2 as it is okay that is equal to 8 log substitute x equals 1 if you replace x by 1 1 plus 1 2 so 8 log 2 i take 8 as common log 2 minus what is the lower limit 0 3 plus x by 0 0 plus 1 is 1 so log 1 for this part i have taken lower uh, upper limit and lower limit now here you can apply the upper limit and lower limit uh, otherwise listen once again i teach you substitute x equals 1 first 8 log if you replace x by 1 1 plus 1 2 log 2 8 log 2 minus here also replace x by 1 2 ones are 2 upper limit is over minus now substitute x equal to 0 0 plus 1 1 so log 1 here 8 is there so 8 log 1 minus 2 into 0 0 so 8 log 1 finally you have to write minus 2 here ok that is equal to 8 log 2 minus 2 minus 8 into remember log 1 value is 0 minus 2 for your reference tag here log 1 to any base is 0 finally 8 log 2 minus 2 minus 2 that is equal to minus 4 8 into 0 0 that is equal to 8 log 2 minus 4 units now we have to find out producer surplus producers surplus ps formula p naught x naught minus integral 0 to x naught g of x dx here g of x is a supply function that is ps here it is x plus 3 by 2 p naught x naught value is 2 here it is 0 to x naught value you know very well that is 1 g 
g of x here it is x plus 3 by 2 x plus 3 by 2 can write 1 by 2 same only half into x plus 3 that is x plus 3 by 2 dx equals 2 minus half right as it is this is x power 1 you know the formula for integration of x power n dx what is the formula x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 3 dx no 3 constant right as it is integral dx is x limit 0 to 1 equals 2 minus half x squared by 2 3x limit 0 to 1 2 minus half apply the upper limit replace x by 1 1 squared is 1 by 2 3 ones are 3 upper limit 2 over minus substitute x equal to 0 that is a lower limit 0 squared 0 by 2 0 3 into 0 0 that is equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 half plus 3 you can write 1 plus 6 by 2 listen 1 plus 3 twos are 6 whole divided by 2 here 2 is a LCM that is equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 into 7 by 2 2 minus 7 ones are 7 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 minus 7 divided by 4 what is the LCM 4 that is equal to 1 by 4 units so problem number 9 is over. I will be teaching problem number 10 in the next video. Thank you children.